we doing folks? Uh, so it is Monday right now. I am an idiot and decided to go really, really heavy this weekend on conventional pulls. So I deloaded last week, if you remember, and now this week I'm getting back into lifting heavy again. Today I have sumo pulls and my back is like pretty sore. So there's a fine line between soreness and just ready to break type of feeling. I, you guys, you'll, you'll understand. Uh, so I feel like I'm okay, but then again, I feel like I didn't get enough sleep last night. A lot of things are going into it, but basically I have, I have to get 400 pounds for a six by three today. Let's just say I'm gonna need to have my pre-workout. Oh yeah, 30% off. Use electric. Do it. Alrighty, people, so I'm gonna make this, well, I'm trying to not make this as, as ranty as possible, but I, uh, obviously I, I, you know, I got one set into 405 and I uh, was definitely not going to be pulling that for three sets, or I'm sorry, six sets of three reps because it just felt like death. So I, I'm really kind of lost right now, honestly, and I, there are a million different reasons I can come up with as to why my, um, oh, great, some fucking dude is right parked right across the street from me looking at me right now. Great. You'd think I'd be used to this by now, but I'm not. There are a million different things I can come up with as to why um, I'm not getting stronger. And it's really discouraging to me. Um, I can look at my sleep and also come up with the counter to that and be like, okay, well, three years ago when I was at my strongest, I was pulling 455 regularly. I was getting like three or four hours of sleep a night. So that's not a factor, at least in my opinion. Uh, I can look at my actual programming itself. And guys, with the way that my life is I should be able to to go in and, and do this routinely pretty easily um, I mean I should be I've said this so many times I should be a lot stronger than I am and it just it really just it bugs the living shit out of me because I do this I don't do anything outside of the gym I literally sit on my computer <laughs> and walk down to the mailbox to get my mail every single morning and that's my activity outside of the gym so 
to be able to, to be eating the amount of food that I am, um, and to be able to rest as much as I do. I don't have a high impact job at all. <laughs> Definitely not by any means. Um, so there's just, it doesn't make any sense to me. So that's why I always go back to my, my thyroid issues. And that's why I always go back to, you know, all of that that I have going on because I generally just day to day, I feel very weak. I still very, I feel very, very tired going into the gym today. I knew I was just going off of the half scoop of pre-workout that I took, you know, a few minutes before. And so that's just not, to me, it's not sustainable. Uh, powerlifting is all about being sustainable and not getting injured and continuously progressing every single week. And the fact is I just got off a deload. So I know I'm going to have a bunch of you down in the comments below telling me that this is what you need to do, Eric. This is what you need to do. And generally speaking, for most people that have drastically different lifestyles than me, yeah, that would be the right solution. For example, a ton of people are probably going to be like, oh, Eric, we'll just eat more calories or eat more protein, eat more fat, or um, take in uh, or change this part of your programming, uh, do this exercise or do that exercise. And I've done all of those things, people. For, the, for example, the food thing, I'm gaining weight. Like, I, I, I don't really know what why people seem to like think that it's always about food and cramming calories down your throat, but it's not. I mean, uh, if you look at videos a, a few months ago as compared to now, I'm, I'm probably about five to 10 pounds heavier and my, my lifts have, have gotten a little bit. Thanks dude. I've gained probably about five to 10 pounds and my lifts have digressed. I mean, I feel weaker, but then again, on some days I feel like I've, I'm much stronger. So I don't really know what the course of action is. I, I do know what I want to do and what I'm going to do. I'm going to try out not training fasted for a week and see if that makes a difference. And it's honestly, guys, it's not my cardio at all because last time I rode my bike was almost a week ago. Um, and it's, people always go back to, to think that I'm like this guy that still rides his bike every single day of his life. I'm like, dude, stop watching videos that are like two years old. Uh, there was another point that I wanted to make too, but I just can't really come to think of it right now because I'm just annoyed and I need to go home and just, uh, <sighs> what can you do? All right, guys, so we got the reusable cat grocery bag right now. Um, really kind of a small grocery haul right now. Uh, just kind of show you, want to show you guys if I got anything different, which kind of isn't the case right now, but yeah, it's a grocery haul, so I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Lettuce, of course. It's a very uh, still recurring nightly thing with me. Gotta have my head of lettuce. Oh gosh. Oh, stomach pain. Oh. Did challenge yesterday. Ugh. As I was saying, <laughs> I have lettuce right there. Cashew milk. Um, I, guys, I'm gonna do a little recipe in a little bit, probably. I don't know, after dinner, but I'm gonna make these sweet potatoes. I've been making these with like coconut oil and they've been absolutely amazing that way. So I usually do that in the oven. Uh, some cilantro right here. This stuff is very, very, very good. And uh, so Paul, like this stuff is three, three bucks for, there's 30, no, 42 grams of protein in this bag right here. So I usually have that for dinner. And then after that, I usually do tuna, but I have been um, trying to, I guess, try a new recipe. Um, where I've been trying to figure out what else I can do with chicken breast and I have any recipe I'll be trying later on. And some vegetables right there and then some sugar-free pudding mix that I'll make a shake with later on. Alrighty guys, and some other stuff I've been eating I got in this bag right here. I actually picked up these right here which are, they're just cornflakes but they're on Hanager Special for like a dollar fifty. so I was stoked about that. And then moving on over here, carrots and broccoli and cauliflower in there. Head of lettuce. I've been going through oats like crazy lately, so these are like a dollar, dollar fifty. Cashew milk, right there. Reduced sugar ketchup, and then I, oh, I will kill the game with the honey sweet barbecue sauce. So that's just Kroger brand. Uh, I don't really find the difference between buying like if it's Heinz versus Kroger. I don't. It's usually just cheaper to buy the. Uh, the generic stuff stevia right there Kroger once again, and then this stuff's really really good This is actually just Greek yogurt and again, it's Kroger brand. It's like three dollars and fifty cents So if I want to get some yogurt, I will go with that and then some baking cocoa and that is about it And that's about it <laughs> Now everyone oh my goodness my hair is all over the place I'm actually going to be doing a podcast with uh, my man. I don't think I've no yeah, I, de I definitely mentioned Riley on this channel before. Uh, Riley actually has Trinity for Change, which is a, um, he's kind of founded a podcast slash 
uh, website dedicated to mental health awareness. So I'm gonna be doing a podcast with him. So I'm gonna put all this away, get, take a shower, and then I will do this podcast. All right, so I am going to be trying out a new protein. So this is the peanut butter delight. Let's see how this tastes in like a little shake. Try this out. Scoops right on top. That's a good sign. Now we try it. it smells absolutely amazing. Yup, that's fire. You guys know I'm a peanut butter lover and it's because of that time in the video I do have to say. You can save 30% by using electric on PES.com. And I'm just over here wondering why we don't have shreddies here in America. New favorite cereal. Sweet potato Absolutely. wedges. Absolutely. Watching my boy sign on mic. I'm just glad I still have my tooth. These are amazing. The next day. All right guys, so uh, we're gonna go back to the gym today and I'm trying out no pre-workout, just kind of just not training fasted today. So we'll see how it's gonna go. It's about one o'clock in the afternoon right now. Typically this is when I have my first meal right here. I have peanut butter, apple, bananas, um, oatmeal, about, I don't know, a good half cup, cup, I don't even know. So we'll see how getting some amino acids into my system generally does. I do take BCAAs when I do train fasted, but I am curious to see how, I guess, things generally go. So we'll see what happens. Don't really expect anything too major, but who knows? Anything's going to be better than yesterday. Right? So, uh, some chicken. I think I already let you guys know that I'm reintroducing chicken into my diet just to see how I do. I had a much, much better day today, and I, I did have a little bit of a meltdown after yesterday's training session. It was kind of discouraging for me because I felt, and I still feel like with my diet, with my training, with everything, I feel like I should should be a lot more, I, for lack of a better word, progressed, progressed than I am right now. So it's it's making me, it, after yesterday I felt like I was, I, I'm just not cut out for powerlifting. I'm not cut out to be strong. I'm not cut out to, to be all these things, but I, I'm not gonna buy into that because anybody can powerlift. Anybody can get strong. To, to say that I'm not cut out to, to gain strength or to be stronger than I am right now, to say that I'm not, I have some sort of thing within myself that's not human, that's not natural or something like that. It's, it's, so I don't, I don't wanna buy into that. I don't, I don't wanna make myself think that way. I just get discouraged because I feel like I should be stronger than I am. 
I think that the biggest part of powerlifting, especially with I with what I do, is sustainability and longevity. And I want to to be as sustainable as, as possible with all of this. And so um, I guess it's hard for me to to work at weights that are. Um, uh, I guess lower and I didn't do that during my deload and I don't normally do that when I deload so that could have been a huge factor in in, in, in this as well not giving my body the, the rest that it, that it needs I again always go back to how I look currently how uh, I have put on weight currently and, and, and everything and so uh, when I watch videos of myself back in October and I see myself at I could have been at a lower body weight who knows this is all kind of just in my own head I feel like I, I, I get down on myself for that and I get down on myself for the fact that I'm, I was stronger back then. Um, I'm gonna see how the next week goes in terms of uh, you know not training fasted. I didn't train fasted today and felt tremendously different. Actually, today I low bar squatted for the first time, the first time ever. Actually, I, I low bar squatted today, and that felt so much better than everything I've, I've been doing for the past few years. So, my left shoulder blade is killing me right now. It's hurting me like a right now. And uh, there's just some things I want to I want to work out, but it feels so much better to low bar squat. I did some other accessory work after that. I did kind of just think about it today, sit down before I went to the gym, uh, before I got my first meal in, and think about what my goals are. What my goal is, my goal is to be strong. My goal is not to be uh, lean and, and, and shredded and to have an unrealistic physique. You know, it, it's, it, it, it's not that. My goal is to just get strong. So I'm gonna do whatever it takes to get there. That's pretty much it. Kind of just felt like clarifying. All right, everybody. So I just want to say thanks for taking the time to watch the video. Uh, I pretty much just wanted to make this strictly lifting for now, just because I am powerlifting right now. I'm trying to, to get stronger. Try not to get back to the point that I was at where I was thinking that I'm not cut out for powerlifting. I just want to keep trying different things and keep trying my best to get to my goal, which is to be stronger than I am. So uh, hopefully you guys can, uh, I, I, I know a lot of you don't powerlift and a lot of you don't lift weights. But hopefully this can kind of be uh, something you can apply to your own life, whether it's uh, whatever which whatever you do. So if you guys do enjoy these style of vlogs, uh, definitely let me know down in the comments below. I want to do more of them. And uh, yeah, appreciate you guys taking the time to watch. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I will see you in the next one.